So it also seems like if you say, U.S. Jews say cease fire, you can get fired by Lyft. So Sergey, what happened? On Thursday of this week, I picked up two women from the capital area, a place called the Hamilton, I believe. Uh, the women got into the car, and as they got into the car, the one woman said that she's not going to be comfortable in here. And I understood that probably she was looking at the material and wasn't comfortable with it. I said nothing. Uh, she got out of the car, and that was it. Then what happened? Um, 24 hours later, I was contacted by Lyft by email, and they said that there was an allegation of me being discriminatory. Um, made no comment as to anything more than that, essentially. And that's as much as I knew. I replied to them thinking that I possibly knew which situation it was, more than likely these two women, and responded that there was no exchange, that we were, that the woman simply said that she was uncomfortable and got out of the car, and that was it. And so at that point, I left it for Lyft to respond back to me. Unfortunately, they didn't get back to me as soon as I thought they would in a timely manner. They got to be back to me about 24 hours later, saying that I was being deplatformed for a discriminatory act. They never contacted me to hear any kind of conversation as to what happened, when it happened, who it happened with, nothing. I was simply told that I was deplatformed, which just essentially means that I am being fired. I've been working for them for at least five years. I believe it though, it is eight years. This is my livelihood. I do this because I need to work. I like the exchange that I have with people. I have had memorable, memorable uh, conversations with people through the years um, on so many subjects because I personalize the car, as you can see, and I that opens up many times conversations with people. I make a point of never opening up a conversation unless someone initiates the conversation. And when they do, that's when I engage. And because of that, I've had beautiful, literally beautiful, intellectual, soulful conversations with people that have many times in many instances, young people especially have as they exit the car have literally said to me that the experience that they have had with in, in conversation with me was life-changing. Wow, um, that is amazing. And you also are uh, five-star reviews that you get every single week from Lyft? Absolutely. Without fail, I'm always at five stars. The, the comments are generally always ticking off something like friendliness. I, I always get many, many clicks for for, 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 for friendliness, for, for good driving, for a good car, and then many times people personalize um, the, the comments um, to say thank you or express that they've had a, the, one of the most fantastic rides that they've ever had in a, in a lift. Literally, I've, I've heard that numerous times. You um, even have a nickname that people have given to you. What's it? What is it? Rideshare Ministries. Um, Rideshare uh, ministries, ministries, meaning you talk to people, you help them with their problems, you spread peace and love. And isn't that what these ride shares were supposed to be about? Yes. The initial times when Rideshare came out, that was the, the platform idea, was to promote a community togetherness with people, one sharing of in, in, in mutual respect, um, love, humanity towards each other. Um, uh, and yes, and uh, it seems to have lost its way. Um, 